be making basics. What's going on YouTube? Be making basics back again with another dope video. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe because we're coming back to Dr. Bangers. Today's video, I'm going to be giving you three tips to use the step sequencer to make hi-hat patterns in Logic Pro 10. So let's go ahead and jump right in. So let's go ahead and create a software instrument track. Then under instrument, quick sampler. Uh, to demonstrate this, I'm actually going to be using some drum sounds. I already have uh, some packs pulled over here up in the Apple loops. And so what we're going to do is just find some type of cool drum sounds, kind of chop it up just a little bit. And then I'm going to show you three steps or three tips that you can use to, um, you know, basically lay down patterns in the step sequencer. All right, cool. So I'm going to start off with the hi hats. Hi hats are pretty much a good thing to start with when it comes to that step sequencer. Um, so I'm going to take the loop off. So three tips, let's get right into it. First tip, okay, is going to be to come over here to the far right and change the steps. That's the first tip. Change the steps, okay, because basically the amount of steps you have is going to make your pattern either more uh, complex or basic depending on how many steps you have so I would probably start off with the step 16 steps and then extend it to either 32 or 64 steps but um, you definitely want to change the steps okay so let's just lay down a hi-hat pattern real quick so as you can see here it's going throughout the whole four measures but if I change the steps here I have these guys here and these are two different sections and that makes some room for me to actually come here and give a little bit of variation. Okay, cool. So the next step or next tip that I want to say when using the step sequencer um, is going to be to use these values over here. Okay. These options right here are really gonna help sauce up your uh, patterns. So come over here to the middle of the screen where it says velocity and value. Make sure you go ahead and operate and use some of those, okay? So like for instance, um, note repeat, probably one of my favorite um, tools to use within the step sequencer. You can come over here and just literally click anywhere. And if you move the mouse up or down, it'll make that pattern any, even more complex or more simple. So you want to basically use these tools. Now let's check it out. Next thing I would recommend you doing as far as a third tip is to come over here when you have this open and click this arrow. Okay. And what that's going to do is allow you to use some of these different uh, modes. Okay. And have them selected down here. And it makes it a whole lot easier when you're coming to create. So like for instance, you got velocity settings right here. I can do note right here and I can also do, let's say this note repeat. So now when it comes to editing and adding these in here, instead of having to come over here and then change it each time here, I can have that all accessed right here. And all I have to do is just click this arrow down here. So now the velocity is gonna help add that variation. Uh, we got notes, we can take them up some. Let's check it out now. So 
So yeah, y'all, that's gonna be pretty much the um, video. Make sure you go ahead and get subscribed to the channel, okay? We're coming back to back with bangers. Also, make sure that you also go to my website, beatmakingbasses.com. I have, uh, you know, sound kits that you can get. There are different drum packs, different uh, melody packs. I also have full video courses you can download. The full video courses are going to be really beneficial to you because it's really going to give you a curriculum um, on certain key areas of music production. How to use Logic Pro 10, music theory, how to, you know, program in, in your drum patterns. Uh, mixing lots of different things like that so you learn tons of techniques that aren't necessarily on this channel it'll be packaged a little bit better on the site so make sure you go to beatmakingbasis.com um, and also make sure you smash that like button man it definitely helps out the channel helps out the algorithm lets me know um, if the content is good or not um, but anyway i will see you in the next videos to come and we're out This is going to be showing you the ins and outs of how to make your own drum patterns, your own melodies, how to arrange your beats into song format, as well as mix your music like a pro, all in Logic Pro 10. And best of all, there's several bonus videos that's going to show you how to make beats in different genres and for TV and film. So this sounds like something that you would like to learn how to do. Go ahead and click through and get enrolled now, and I'll see you on the other side.